Hi guys, welcome to another day that I'm going to be vlogging. We were just doing a little fall cleanup out here and a lot of the cushions are really wet, but we took up our outdoor rug and we have to figure out something to do with all the cushions because we didn't buy the big container that goes with this to put all the cushions in. So we might have to get like a bunch of bins or something to put those in. We just blew off like all the leaves and stuff because the deck was covered in leaves today. So that's what we've been doing. It's always really sad when you have to do all the fall cleanup because that means it's just about to get freezing and I'm all like sweaty and stuff now. So this is our situation we have going on in this room. If you guys have watched some of my more recent videos then you know we recently got this couch from Ikea and I've been talking about wanting to switch out this rug. This is just the dog couch for now. Not sure how long this is going to stay here. Probably until I get chairs or something. So that's still here. Dining room is coming along but really quick I want to show you guys. We actually just got a rug and it just came in yesterday from West Elm and I always complain about West Elm's shipping because our dining room table was from there and it took probably three months to get here and then our sofas that we just ordered, they're still not here yet, but they're supposed to be here, I think, like next week. And I ordered those a couple months ago. So their shipping takes a while for like furniture, but this rug literally got here in two days. Did you have something to say? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so we're gonna roll up this one, put it in the other room um, where our new West Elm sofas are gonna be going in like the family room area. I'm gonna roll this up, put that in there for now. Not sure if it's gonna stay there. And then I can't wait to see how this one looks with the couch. And then another thing that we're doing today is we're gonna get some material to do the little pitcher ledges right there. So I've been talking about this room forever, about what I'm gonna do in here. And I decided I'm going with pitcher ledges, so we're gonna get material for that and start working on those today. I also, really quick, added rings to those curtains up there too. I scratched up the walls a lot, but it was worth it. I like it way better with the little curtain rings on it. So I've talked about those a million times too. They're from Amazon, but for now, let's go ahead, get this rug up, put it in the other room, and I'm so excited to see the new one. This rug in here, this is the room where our West Elm sofas are going to go. One's going over there, one's going over there, and then I think next week our cabinets are coming and we're building this whole built-in cabinet thing with shelves and a mantle and everything around that and then the TV is going to go above the fireplace. So all of this other stuff is going to be moved out of here. But that's the situation that's going on with this room. It really needs some help. <laughs> You went in here. The moment of truth, everyone. I actually really like this rug. We'll see if you guys. Wow, that is comfy on the feet. Ooh. Can't have the dogs get those. Wow, I love it. 
It actually makes this look grayer. Yeah. A lot grayer. It really does. Okay, so I have four right now. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna have to. So we got five. Uh, lift this up. Okay. We got the rug in. I love it. It's like kind of like a light gray and a dark gray. It's probably Strike. the softest feeling rug on my feet I've ever it's, felt. Yeah, it does feel super soft, so I love it. But one thing I didn't realize that I did is I ordered the wrong size, so I loved the size of the other rug that was oh. in here, and I assumed that it was an eight by 10, and it was actually a nine by 12. So, yeah, I still think this will work. What do you think? I think once you get a couple chairs in here, and maybe like, like a centerpiece mm -hmm. table, I think <laughs> the, the rug will kind of blend into the room. Yeah. I think it just appears smaller mm -hmm. than the other one, so that's why it feels weird. Okay, dude is dying to come he in wants here. to investigate the new thing. Yeah. But we gotta put his couch back. Another thing I was worried about was that this couch looking like too blue or something, but I feel like this rug matches it perfectly and makes it like not look so blue. How's it vacuum up? <laughs> I love it. So next on the docket is working on our picture ledges, which are gonna be going on this wall right here. So I think well, we have to come up with the measurements, but I think we might either paint them white or stain them white. This is saying, just use wood glue. No nailing them together. Mmm. I wonder how long that takes. And then 15 would be 70. Like that. Okay, how many inches is that total? 70. I feel like I like that. And you get two of them? Yeah, that one. No, bring it down. It'll be like probably right there. And the other one will be below it, like probably right there. Yeah. We are in the Menards parking lot. We just got everything that we needed. What is that that we got? So we didn't have to cut them. We got. What? Six foot pieces. Six foot pieces of what? In case people want to make these. Oh, apples. okay. So we got one by twos for the front piece, one by threes for the bottom, and one by threes for the back. So we bought four one by threes and two one by twos. Which in poplar. Wood. Which really they're all half an inch less than what you say they are. Yes. So a one by a one by two is really a half inch by one and a half. So, and then I got this keep that little, in mind, everybody. I got this little paintbrush set because I'm just gonna paint it with the extra paint that we have from painting our house. I'm just gonna paint it the same color as our trim. I got a little sander to sand down the wood. Did I get anything else? That was all I got. That's all she got. Okay, so now we're going to go to my parents' house because my dad has one of those, um, what do you call them? Nail guns with an air compressor. Yeah, one of those. So we're gonna go there and they're gonna nail these things together and then I guess I can get painting and then I guess Joshua can put them up on the wall. Finishing up working on these picture ledges today while Joshua is getting stuff ready to put the sink in with my 
can. I'm just trying to figure out which paint to use. If I should use, I was just gonna use extra of what we had from when we painted our house. We did decorators white in a matte finish. This is Benjamin Moore on all of our walls. And then we did the same thing just in a satin finish on all the trim. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to do satin or if I want to do matte finish on these. Ooh. That looks dangerous. <laughs> Day. I don't even remember what I've actually filmed in this video because I feel like it's kind of long but I've done a second coat on these I brought them in here because it's really cold in the garage today so I'm letting those dry and then I can finally put those up in the dining room I have it all blocked off so the dogs don't get to it but also I wanted to show you guys in my last video it was like my bathroom remodel video I had mentioned how I was looking for a couple like little pictures for for this little area these shelves right here these frames i actually originally got for the picture ledges that are in the dining room but then i don't know i thought they kind of looked nice in here too so i'm gonna see how these end up looking this frame isn't really the right size but maybe i can at least get an idea but i'm gonna have to probably order a different frame for this one something that'll actually fit this i couldn't order this one in the exact size of this frame and then this is just a little eight by ten picture but i thought it was very kitchen appropriate don't mind all the paint down my hands either All right, so this is what it looks like. I also have another picture frame that I kind of wanted to test out, see if I like that better. And then this one, I'm definitely gonna have to get a different picture frame that actually fits this because I just set the picture in there and then I just put the matting behind it. So it's definitely not the right size. But for now, until I find something, I think it looks pretty cute. And then I still have to get a little tiny picture for that. I was thinking a little tiny Polaroid and then I need a little picture for that, but it is coming together. Okay, I gotta go get my dog. We are now starting the process. Actually, Joshua's starting the process of hanging our shelves. They're completely dry now. And Josh was just using his stud binder. And we'll get these puppies up. big reveal here they are i just grabbed a couple of the pictures that i had on our little floating shelves in the kitchen so i could just see what it looked like to have pictures up in here but i think it was a pretty fun project i have to actually take like a little eraser and get some of the marks off the wall now but yeah i think this was pretty fun and then i also have to take a lit little bit of paint to kind of like touch up the screws a little bit so they're not visible but yeah I just threw these pictures on here just to kind of see what it will look like the sun is really beating in right now so hopefully you guys get a good 
idea of it. Now I just have to figure out what kind of pictures I want to put in here. I think I kind of want to do a mix of like art prints and then also just like prints of the dogs and family pictures and things like that. So I think that'll be really fun. And then these wood frames over here, I think I might do all of the frames in the wood frames. I might mix some white ones in too possibly, but I really like the way the wood looks. So yeah, I'm really excited about these. It was fairly easy to do, but honestly, if I could have found picture ledges that already were the size that I was wanting, I probably would have just bought them because I don't know if it was that much cheaper to buy all the wood and, you know, just taking the time to paint it and everything like that. So I don't know if it was that much cheaper, but it's worth it because I really, really like the size of them. All right, guys, that is it for this video. No makeup on anything today. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I finally have something on this wall so I can't complain about it or talk about that anymore because I feel like I was talking about this blank wall in like every video. Everyone was probably getting super annoyed. So actually I guess I still can complain about it because I have to find stuff to put in these frames now. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed watch some more videos while you're at it and <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching hope you're having an amazing week and i will see you really soon in my next video